big win for you guys. Um, you were a large part of it. Just so, what's going through your mind after a win like this? We just had to come out. We came out playing hard and strong, so we, we got what we done, what we needed done. And so now that we're on top and we came out with the win, now we have to grind for next week and work hard for next week. Yeah, a little bit of a struggle in the first half. It was scoreless until about two minutes left in the half, and you guys kind of found the zone. Uh, what do you feel like you guys did well in the second half? We started playing more as a team in the second half. It was at the beginning we had a little bit of errors that we started to correct at the end. So once we got all the errors pushed out of the way and we started playing Wheeler football, we just went on a roll and it just didn't stop. You had an Odell Beckham Jr. like touchdown catch. Uh, just take us through that play. What were you seeing? I just I saw the ball and I knew that I knew that the defender was gonna jump too. So I just had to jump and then it tipped my it tipped my left hand and then I grabbed it with my right hand. And I just came down with it. Is that a catch that you normally expect yourself to make? I wouldn't say I normally expect it. I mean, me and the clucks, Ethan and Joel Clucky, we always mess around in practice and always try to one-hand everything. So, I mean, we work on it, but it's not what we try to do in games. Tell me about your nine on the ground, a couple big scores as well. Uh, what were you seeing? I just, I would just see a hole and I just hit it as hard as I could. I knew that the guys were going to come out and try to hit us as hard as they possibly could. So, we just had to hit everything as hard as we possibly could. Just play really Skyler, uh, not an easy battle for you guys tonight. Doesn't seem like you guys have had many of those this year, but it's another win. Uh, just what's going through your mind after a big win like that? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a good win. We worked hard. We made adjustments like good teams have to do, and they're a really good physical bunch. Uh, a lot of people saw it in the first half. They came out, and they were matching us punch for punch. And I mean, you got to give credit to our defense tonight. Holding an explosive offense, averaging like over 50 points a game to 12 is really doing something. And uh, yeah, it's just a good win, and we're going to enjoy this one for a little bit. Yeah, scoreless until the latter part of the first half, and you guys' offense kind of found a rhythm. Uh, what was the secret? What adjustments did you guys make? Uh, we just found some plays that were working, and, uh, you know, they're kind of hard to stop. There's some read plays that makes it really difficult for them. But, I mean, just you got to make the right read. And, yeah, we had a couple negative yard plays and a fumble out there at the end that we recovered. But, yeah, there's going to be bumps along the road where you just got to keep going. Big night for you on the ground. Uh, what were you seeing? I mean, like like I said, those read plays, you just got to make the right one. You got to be, sometimes you have to be selfish, sometimes you have to be unselfish. Giving the ball to Caden is a real, real gift because you know he can put his head down and get 10 yards most plays. But yeah, I mean, the receivers were walking well. I was trying to set them up a couple times, but just get, trying to get downfield and try not to run side to side. Last year, you guys, it came down to week nine. You ended up missing the playoffs. In the grand scheme of things, how big is a win tonight over an unbeaten team like Coon Rapids? I mean, it's huge. Uh, going up first place in the district, staying undefeated, uh, brings a lot of pressure on the next three games we got coming up in district play, and we just have to go out, stay focused, and work hard. And try and win Coach, a uh, big win for you guys. It seems like almost every night for you guys is a must win with how the district is, is shaping up. But uh, just what's a win like this mean? It means a lot because uh, that's a really good team. They're undefeated. They're, you know, they've only punted twice in, on the season coming into tonight. It tells you how tough they are to stop. I thought our defense played lights out the majority of the night. We let a couple big plays slip by, um, so they're really playing to clean up there. But more the majority of the night, especially early on when we couldn't get the, on the scoreboard, our defense kept the shutout intact until we could finally crack the scoreboard. And defense played really well tonight. Offense did enough. We figured it out later in the game. A couple scores right before half were big, but then the extended later on was really big too. To, to get them uncomfortable. A team like that doesn't like to come from behind. Jeffrey Eagle came in as the leading rusher in all the state. He had a couple big plays for you guys, but you kind of kept him at bay for most of the night. What were you guys doing to kind of contain him? Just reading our keys. You know, we had a pretty good game plan of what we wanted to do formation-wise. Uh, we, we had some different options we were going to run. We didn't run very many of those. I think our base worked pretty well. Just got to be physical as heck and, and do your job, because if, if you jump into the wrong gap, they're going to they're gonna exploit it. And they did a few times. Um, but that's a really tough, de tough, really tough offense to prepare for. That's a really tough defensive week because they're so good at it. They're so big. They're so physical. Eagles so good at reading that. And it's just really hard to emulate with JV scout team kids. It's just hard to get that rep. So I was really impressed with how well we played, especially early when it, it was. You, sometimes it takes a driver two to get that figured out, but these guys are ready from the get-go. Couple of savvy special teams play calls. You had an onside kick that you guys were able to recover late in the second half. Then a kind of a a crafty two-point conversion as well. Did you dial those up? Oh uh, yeah, well, we, we always have the, the onside or pooch or depending on what we want to do available. We really just didn't want to kick it deep and give them a chance to return. The previous return was really close to the cracking one. So we just wanted either onside to either get it or just you know, late in the second quarter, we just didn't want to give them a chance to return. We want to make them drive the ball and 
really good hop. The guys executed really well. And the special teams uh, was one of those where we wanted to, to get it. Um, we saw they were selling out at times early. They defended it pretty well, but Jackson read it well. He saw nobody was open, and he knew he could just put his shoulder down and get in. And that extended it to 24, which was really big to make them, because as soon as they came down and scored and didn't get their two point, now we kept it at three possessions. So just the math of it, we knew we were going to go for it there. Just a matter of if we wanted to go fake or just line up and go for it. Uh, we just decided to go with fake, and it worked. I heard you tell your team after the game that you learned a lot about yourselves tonight. Uh, what were some of those things you feel like you guys learned? Well, just how well we can play defensively, how physical we can be. We're not we're not the biggest team, we're not the fastest team, you know, but uh, we do a lot of things pretty darn well. And these guys play with a chip on their shoulder. Um, they they were up for the challenge. I think there was a lot of, I think that, I think they, they had a, they had a little extra this week being. You know, they, they, they knew that Kuhn was going to be bigger than them. They knew Kuhn was going to pride themselves on being physical. And that's something we pride ourselves on, being physical. And, and so for us to know that we were going to uh, have to figure it out, and these guys were ready for that challenge. They were up for the challenge of uh, someone's going to run it right at your throat. Or, you know, it's kind of a, uh, a check your check your manhood a little bit here. Of, uh, we're going to try to shove it right at you, but what are you going to do about it? And the guys were up for the challenge. You guys are now just one of two teams unbeaten in your guys' district along with Cam. You'll see them week nine, but a couple of matchups before that with West Harrison and Glidden. How important is it not to overlook those matchups? It's critical, you know. Um, if you get two losses, your back's against the wall the rest of the year. We did it early last year. We came out of the shoot one and two. Two really good teams. We, we dropped two heartbreakers. Uh, and then all of a sudden we had to try to run the table. We, we ran it for for five weeks. We just couldn't run it the final week. And, and we were Left out of the playoff picture because of it. So our guys know we've we just have we just can't we can't lose that cushion that we've got right now. Where you know two losses you probably get in, three losses you probably aren't. So if we can get to week nine with one loss and they're undefeated, we'll feel pretty good about both of our chances regardless of that outcome getting in. I think this Coon Rapids team is going to have a good chance at running the table too. Um, you know with with Cam facing Coon week eight and us week nine. There's going to be some marquee matchups down the stretch, but. We have got to make sure we take care of business next week. West Harrison's improved. Glidden's got a lot of athletes. They do a lot of fun stuff offensively. They put a lot of pressure on you. They got a lot of seniors that are going to have a lot to play for the last few weeks. And we got to we got to go there. We got two road trips waiting for us. Uh, we got to take it week at a time. We've done it all year. Uh, we've had a big week after big week. Next week's no different because if we we drop it, we're just backs against the wall the rest of the way.